Sometimes you might an anomaly And I As long as I see you I got it, but allow me to read because uh, words fail me, and uh, God has given me the gift of literally. So let me use it at this time now. Uh, Shall I? <laughs> From the moment you agreed to be my bride, I knew there was my life. A due journey into the bliss of life. Coated in the depth of love, propelled with passion and desire to achieve fulfillment of creation's destiny. And here you are, like a pearl, perfected by the pressures of and molded by life. Molded by the challenges pressing from every direction. Increasingly pure, strong, diligent, a wealth of wisdom and beauty. Just look at you. The epitome of beauty, elegance, and finesse. God's gift to I and my family and to my life. I have truly been blessed by your presence in my life. I will love you and cherish you from moment to moment as long as I live with my whole body and soul. You are still as young and as fresh and full of vitality as you were when God bumped me into you some 30 years ago. I thank you for the gorgeous children you have given me and the people and the people. We are all prepared to a great and a greater destiny as a people. Forever and ever. Bye. And I put Right, My love. Here we go again. We've been through so much in life together. There are times I thought we would never make it. There are times I thought we would give up, you know. But we, we held on. I see these vows that we are doing today, not as a promise, but as a privilege to do it again. But this time, it is a small girl anymore, but much older, much wiser. You are my best friend, my very best friend. And I'm privileged that I get to laugh with you, cry with you, care for you, and share with you. And most importantly, I get to love you every single day. Because you are one good, fine man. You have been my best friend. And you know me better than anyone else in the world. Not even my mother knows me the way you know me. You know the good things about me. You know the bad things about me. And you also know the ugly things about me. And so, somehow, you still manage to love me unconditionally. I'm one of the luckiest women in the world. I'm very lucky for I to be loved by you. And I'm looking at Tina right now. I remember the way she always says, I want to marry a man like my dad. Initially, she used to say, Apostle, I want to marry a big man, a fat man. You know, like, exactly like my dad. 
because he knows how to love my mama. And if I have a man like that, he will love me the way my mama, my papa loves me. Their father, my children, is their ideal husband because they see how he loves me with so much passion and so much love, unconditionally. And he protects me all the time. He fights my battles all the time. He stands up for me all the time. years ago we started our forever story. Thank you for choosing me to write it with you. The book of our life on chapter 30. I pray that we still have another 30, 40 years to go before we reach epilogue of the book of our life. You are the most beautiful soul I've ever known. You are my mentor. You are my pastor. I always say this every time to people. You are my pastor. The one I run to, even sometimes when I feel down. I run to you because you are beautiful inside and out. You are not only a man of God in front of people. You are a man of God in my house. My children look at you. And they say they've never known any better man of God than their own dad. They see you. And the, every time they look at you, they see God through you. Because you're always leading us as the high priest of the home. You lead us in prayer. You lead us in all things. And an amazing man, my husband. You are very kind. You are very unselfish. More than anything, I love you, Val. Not for what you are, but for what I am when I'm with you. There isn't another soul on this planet who is ever made me half the person I am when I'm with you. I'm forever changed because of who you are and what you have taught me over the years. I have learned love and forgiveness on levels I never knew possible because of you. From the moment our paths crossed on Second Street, that many years ago, you have surprised me. You have loved me and captivated me and challenged me in ways that no one else has ever done. Where do you hear of people who meet and meet and marry in less than a month? And 30 years later, here we are. And I'm still made in love with you as before. I have fallen in love with you again and again and again over the years. And I still can't believe that each and every day I get to call you my husband, my bae. <laughs> I promise you nothing less than the rest of my life. I recommit my life to you. And I promise to share and support your hopes and your dreams. Even the mind. Even the mind. I promise to love you for eternity, respecting you, honoring you for better, for worse, in sickness and in health, to death to us, but so love you, God. Mm. You see, these people, they don't tell it. They don't wait for instructions. Did I say, ah, uh, you say? <laughs> Mororepa, <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Bonzi, you be my wife. Bora bora na mwezusa tu apera. Watu hukuru mene mkati. Asi uchepe zana. You know, I'm trying to, to bring it. <laughs> this is amazing. When the sky